cloudy skies to kick off our day. High pressure actually up to our north. That's doing a little bit of us a few favors, especially in the northern portion of the state. Possibly some sunshine that sunrise, though, just before 8 a.m. this morning. Otherwise quiet, not a whole lot to talk about. Temperatures cooler this morning than they have in the last couple of mornings. We'll rise to those mid-40s for highs this afternoon, just a couple degrees below normal. And then I'd say right around 8 or 9 o'clock tonight is when things start to get interesting. We'll start to see showers built from the south and slowly push to the north. And notice that icon kind of transitions over to a bit of a wintry mix. Earlier on this morning, that winter storm watch did get expanded a little bit further south, now including Lake Oceana and Mason counties. That'll officially go into effect Saturday morning and carry through Saturday evening. But we do know that will get upgraded either to a winter storm warning or a winter weather advisory, which, by the way, already seeing some of those pop up in Wisconsin as well as in Illinois. So here's your future cast again. Could have some sunshine this afternoon, but overall a bit of a gloomy day. That rain starts to build up from the south and push to the north, and it should start as rain. I'd say right around about 2, 3 a.m. is when we'll start to see things get interesting. Temperatures begin to fall uh, near to that freezing mark, and it'll likely come across as a freezing rain, leaving a little bit of a glaze of ice across portions of the area, especially around the I-96 corridor. We should have some dry periods throughout the day. I do want to emphasize that before we kind of get on the back end of the system, and that's when it'll be cool enough to see some flakes flying. Uh, still not a ton of accumulation expected, and it does get out of here pretty quickly. Sunday will be a dry and pleasant day overall. So here's kind of a glance at those snow totals. Models have been pretty consistent. Again, big rapids in north could see several inches of snow. Down to the south, though, not so much. About an inch and a half possible here in Grand Rapids as well as down to the south. But again, with that rain and that mixing and our ground temperatures being warm, it shouldn't stick around for too long. I think the glaze of ice is kind of the real story here. We could see anywhere, I'd say, from about uh, a trace to maybe up to two tenths. I think this is a little ambitious in Greenville, but again, enough to make travel pretty slick out there. So overall, those impacts uh, definitely going to be uh, severe at times, I would say. Strong winds, medium, paired with dangerous roads and that ice accumulation medium as well. The heavy snow, though, really staying up to our north. 47 is your high today. Again, we'll cool down pretty quickly overnight, allowing that wintry mix to take shape. Into Sunday, though, 45, even some sunshine expected in the mix. Next week, fairly quiet, maybe a chance for some rain and snow on Wednesday, but models have been kind of flip-flopping on that. And then we should see a warm-up by the end of the week back to those 50s and then potentially another round of rain, maybe some snow on Friday making a return.